Hi everyone. I'm posting this tutorial site for my future reference and thought it might help connect you too. The website focuses on Finale and Sibelius tips and tutorials by Robert Puff. The tutorial can be found at the web page located at the link. HTTP colon slash slash www.rpmseattle.com slash of underscore note slash chords hyphen by hyphen the hyphen numbers hyphen in hyphen finale. Chord symbols by the numbers in finale written September 24, 2011 by Robert Puff about finale. If you are like me, you may have trouble remembering some of the keystrokes required to enter certain chord symbols into finale, especially when you start getting into some of the alterations. For either the handwritten or engraved styles, Many chord suffixes are simple to enter, because you can just type in the suffix as you would any string of text, and as you do so, Finale creates the proper chord suffix. For instance, in the handwritten style, you can type in C major 7 or C dominant 7, flatted 9, and you'll get nice looking chord symbols with the proper vertical alignment both suffixes. Works great, right? Well, yes and no. Finale needs these chord suffixes typed in exactly as they were entered, or you get an error message like this one. Could not find suffix minor 7. Would you like to add it to the chord suffix library? No or yes? Hum. Of course, you can add it to the library, but it won't be correctly formatted, and besides, a proper looking version of the chord is probably already in the library. But where is it? Fortunately, Finale has a fine feature for chord suffixes. To find a chord suffix that you can't seem to remember the exact sequence for, you can type the root, a colon, a zero, for example C, zero, then hit the space bar. Finale will display the chord suffix selection dialog where you can choose the suffix you need from the list. Nice. The search feature is handy, but of course, it's a pretty slow way to enter chords. Wouldn't it be great if there was a simpler way to enter chords? Actually, there is. Fellow Finale user Paul Samitz, ammo at silk.net, recently contacted me with a very clear and simple method for entering chords which involves using printed reference files he created in connection with Finale's fast entry shortcut for chords, and specifically for new files created using Finale's setup wizard. His reference files are actually maps of Finale's suffix editor. Here's how they work. Finale has a fast entry shortcut feature for chords. Each chord suffix has an associated location in the chord suffix selection dialog, and each of these locations has a number, like an address, associated with it. If you know a particular suffix's number, you can enter a chord directly by typing the root, a colon, and the suffix number, then move to the next note Finale adds the suffix automatically. These chord shortcuts are a very powerful feature of Finale. If you work a lot with chords, you may have already discovered that the chord suffixes are in the same slots, locations, in the engraver style and copyist templates, and have remained, relatively, consistent between various versions of Finale. However, this is not the case with the handwritten style. First of all, as the handwritten style template has improved, more chords have been added. Also, in what appears to be an effort to group existing chord suffixes more intelligently, many of the chord suffixes have moved to different locations in the chord suffix selector, so the chord suffix locations are different between, say, Finale 2010 and Finale 2012. Paul's chord suffix reference maps for the various templates used with Finale 2011 and 2010 are a good starting point to let you know where every chord suffix is located. If you are using Finale 2010 or 2011, you can simply print out the file that corresponds to the version of Finale and style, handwritten or engraved, you are using, then use the reference numbers he has indicated under each chord suffix. There is a chord suffix in every bar of the reference file, and every bar number corresponds to its matching suffix number. So, for instance, if you are using the handwritten style template in Finale 2010, and you refer to the chart and see that C7 number 9 is in bar 51, equal suffix location, or slot 51, the chord entry is simply C, 51. Tip, if you are currently using Finale 2012, and don't want to have to create a new shortcut legend from scratch, you can make use of Paul's chord suffix maps by opening an earlier Finale template file in 2012, which will retain these chord suffix locations, allowing you to use the same shortcut map. That's it. That's all there is to it. Note from Robert. Update from Paul Samitz just forwarded me his reference maps for the copyist template which uses the popular, but legacy, jazz chord font for chord suffixes. 
The copyist template is found in the general category of the setup wizard of Finale 2010 and 2011. I posted them in the downloads directory with the others. Also included in the directory for reference are the Jazz Chord character maps for Mac and PC. I think you will agree that printing out the reference map and typing root, colon, number is a very clear and simple way to enter chord suffixes. For more information or update check the web page.